what's up YouTubers, it's Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to draw a battery power icon in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with we're going to select the rectangle tool, left click and drag to create any four sided shape, make sure that you have a solid fill with no stroke and then we're going to round off the corners and you can do this if you're using a CC version of Illustrator by dragging in, clicking on these circles and just dragging towards the center. If you are using an older version of Illustrator, that's absolutely fine. Just select your shape, go up to Effect, down to Stylize, select Round Corners, specify your radius and click OK. And then in the Appearance palette, you can select the rounded corner effect and you can delete or you can click to edit. But for now, I'm just going to select the shape and drag in to round the corners using these little these little circular anchor points. So something that looks like this, maybe a little bit less. There we go. Now I'm going to draw another four-sided shape, and this is going to be the end of our battery icon. So again, I'm just going to round the corners just a little bit. Now I'm going to select both of these shapes and just make sure that they are vertically aligned to each other. So just click that. You'll see they just kind of nudge into place there. And I'm just going to increase the width of this one. And then using the arrow keys, just going to shuffle that one into place. Like so. Then what I'm going to do is select the main part of our battery. And I'm going to go up to edit, select copy, and then select paste in place. I'm holding shift and using the up arrow key, I'm just going to nudge this up. Now the reason I like to use the arrow keys is because I can nudge it up by an exact number of pixels. I can edit this shape and then I can just do the same again, but just nudge it back down and I know that it will go into the exact same position that it was originally. So I've rounded off these corners by pulling in the anchor points. So I just want to finalize this shape just by selecting it, going over to the Pathfinder palette and selecting Unite in the top left. Now the reason I do this is just because it kind of finalizes the shape and sometimes if you round off the corners and you don't uh, kind of finalize it, it's very similar to going up to Object and Expand. You know, it can if you don't do that, it can um, just have some really strange effects and things don't work properly and when you're trying to use the Pathfinder tool. So I just do that to kind of finalize the shape, like I say. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to select the pen tool and left click up here and then down here. And then we can just drag and it doesn't really matter what we do out here as long as we are dragging over the rest of the battery. Now I'm going to color this crazy shape that I've just made red. Make sure that the red is the fill and that there is no outline. So we should have something that looks like this. And with the red on top, we can select both of our shapes, go over to the Pathfinder palette and select Subtract or Minus Front. That's the second one in from the top left. So it leaves us with this part here. Now what I'm going to do is select the main part of our battery. Just make sure I've got the fill selected and I'm going to specify a green for this. So I'm going to double click this green and make it global. And then just tick the preview box and I'm going to adjust this green to be a nice kind of battery related color. Something like this, nice and bright and punchy. And then now I can select this other part that I've created, this shape on top. And holding shift and using the down arrow keys, as I said before, I can now nudge it back into exactly the same position. Now I've rounded the corners off on this shape, so I want to do the same thing again. I want to finalize this, so I'm just going to select it. And in the Pathfinder palette, select the top left option, which is Unite. So now what I can do is I can hold Shift to multiple select shapes and select the other black shape. And now I can unite these two shapes together in the Pathfinder palette, like so. So now we've got these two parts to our battery. We've got the green part and the black part. Now I'm going to change the color. This is the uh, this is the empty 
energyless part of our battery. So I'm going to make that grey something, something like this. I'm just going to double click that swatch and make it global. The reason we make the swatches global is because if I am working with a global swatch and I want to edit it at some point down the line, I can double click the swatch, make any changes, and it will apply that change to any instance of that swatch within your document. So really, really handy time saver there. So now we've got this part of the battery here. Now I'm just going to select the green part and I'm going to do the same again. Go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place and holding shift and using the up arrow key, I'm just going to nudge this up. And I'm going to get the rectangle tool and just drag over this top part. So something like this, you want to drag over about two thirds of the shape. And I'm going to make this red just so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to select both shapes and in the Pathfinder palette I'm going to click subtract or minus front just so it clips and leaves us with this bottom part. And I'm going to make this white and then holding shift and using the arrow keys I'm going to nudge this one back down. You'll notice that it's on top of both of the other shapes and I'm just going to select transparency over here on the right and set the opacity to 10. So it's just a, just a little bit of a light reflection there on our icon. Now what we're going to do is select the pen tool and I'm going to select a fill of black and we're going to draw our little lightning electricity battery symbol. So you can just left click and you can do this really quickly to create something that looks like that. And you can use the direct selection tool, select anchor points and then just drag them or nudge them with the arrow key into position just until you're happy with your symbol. I think something like this looks good to me. And I'm going to make this white. Now I'm just going to select everything else and go to object group and then hold shift and select this little white symbol that I've made and just make sure that I vertically align it horizontally uh, that I align it vertically and horizontally so it is in the middle of my battery icon and let's just tweak that a little bit Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this bottom shape again. We just need to ungroup all our elements. So if we go to object, ungroup, I'm going to select this bottom shape and I'm going to go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place and hold shift and use the arrow keys just to nudge this down. And I'm going to make this shape black and set the transparency all the way up to 100 again. Now I'm going to switch the view here using this little double arrow in the top right corner just because it makes working with gradients a little bit easier. So I'm now going to select this gradient here. By default it should be from black to white. If it's not, just drag the swatches for black and white onto the slider like so. And I'm going to rotate the gradient so it's at an angle of 90 degrees. And you can reverse the gradient here by clicking on this icon. So we want it along the bottom. So again, I'm going to hold shift and use the arrow keys to nudge this up. Now I'm going to put this one under the reflection layer. So if we go to object, arrange, and then send backwards, not to back, just backwards once. 
and then I'm going to set the transparency to multiply just so it blends that white through the other colors and with it still selected I'm just going to set the opacity to let's say 70 percent so it just gives our battery icon a little bit more depth there and you can actually select this little lightning electricity symbol and you can add a slight glow if you like by just going to Gaussian blur in the effects options let's say three and you can edit this in the appearance palette so if I select that again you can see here it's listed Gaussian blur and I can adjust this let's say two click OK and it will update with that effect so there we go we've got our battery symbol done we're just going to add a shadow underneath now so if we left click and select the ellipse tool we're just going to draw a very very thin ellipse something like this and with our fill selected we'll go to the gradient palette and we can click anywhere on this bar and it will add the gradient now what we want to do is we want to drag so left click and drag this black into the middle and then the white on the right if you left click and hold alt it will create a copy so you should have something that looks like this so it's black in the center and it goes out to white now if you select this we're going to go up to edit uh, effect down to blur and Gaussian blur again tick the preview box and we're just going to give this some blur just to soften that shadow let's say about eight and position this fairly close and then in the transparency palette I'm just going to drop this down to 70% in fact if you want to make the center part here a little bit less dark you can drop the transparency even more or you can change the black swatch in the gradient palette for a gray of some sort and I'm just going to select everything for the battery icon except the shadow I'm going to go to object and group that together and then I can select this shadow as well as everything else and then just horizontal align center and actually I'm just going to use the arrow keys just to nudge this one off center deliberately so it's central to the big kind of part of the battery the main part of the battery rather than this little kind of bit sticking out on the end then we can select everything go up to object and group so now we can drag our whole composition around as one and there we go we've created a battery icon in adobe illustrator as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and i'll see you next time